It's actually a very hard problem. You have to make something that can be produced in quantity reasonably cheaply. At the same time, that it can't be forgeable even at great expense. And that's very hard to do. All ID cards are forgeable. It's a matter of cost. And sort of perversely, if you have an ID card that's very valuable, then it's more forgeable because the bad guy's willing to spend more money to forge it. So as you make an ID card more general purpose, more authoritative, more useful, you make it a more attractive target, which makes it more likely to be forged because it's more valuable once forged. I mean, there's always an arms race between attacker and defender in any security system, and, and forgery of, of ID cards is certainly one of them. The problem is the bad guys have an advantage. They don't have to go through a procurement cycle. They don't have to go through a development cycle. They can just do the new thing. If you want to come up with an anti-forgery mechanism, you've got to develop it, you've got to test it, then you've got to put it into the stream, and it might be a couple of years before it shows up in actual ID cards. By then, it's two years old, and the bad guys are already ahead of it. So the defense is always playing catch-up simply because we have longer procurement cycles.